Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to be solving this problem, which came in ITJ 1984. So in this problem, we have a rectangular box and we have two chambers in it, which is which are separated by one partition. And on the left partition and the right partition, we have the same gas, which is a monoatomic ideal gas, one mole each. And they are both at the same pressure P0 they have the same volume V0 and they have the same temperature T0. Now the thing is, the left chamber, to the left chamber, heat is being added. And as a reason, as a process of that, the, the kinetic energy of each of these particles in the left chamber will increase. And because of that, the pressure here will increase. And because of that, this partition is going to move towards the right. And after a while, it's going to achieve equilibrium and it's given that at that point, the pressure becomes this much. So taking that into consideration, we have to determine the temperature, the final temperature of the gas in each chamber. And we need to determine the work done by the gas in the right chamber. So to continue with the solution. So this is the initial condition. So let's just assume this length is L0 and this length is L0 as well. And the area of cross section viewed by viewed through this side, let's say it is A0. And obviously V0, we can write it as A0 times L0. So this is like how the final condition is going to look like. So the partition, let's just say it moved displaced towards the right by an amount of X. So the length of the left chamber becomes L0 plus X and this becomes L0 minus X. And the, and yeah, at the final situation, the pressure becomes 243 upon 32 P naught on both sides. And that's why it attains equilibrium, right? So now to the left chamber, heat is being added. But the thing is, it is given that this partition is thermally isolated, which means heat cannot be exchanged from the left chamber to the right chamber. This is just not possible, which means uh, in the right chamber, heat cannot escape, neither can heat come in, which means the heat transfer for the right chamber is zero. Which also we could say that it's an adiabatic process that's taking place on the right chamber. So for an adiabatic process, we know PV to the power gamma is constant. And if we eliminate V and write T instead, this is how it looks like. And now we can just take ratios, right? Initially, the pressure was P0. Finally, it is 243 by 32 P0. And let's say the temperature finally is T2. And initially, it was T0 on the right chamber. And solving that, we'll get the value of T2 as 9 by 4 T0. And this is the temp final temperature of the right chamber. Okay. So now, what we are going to use is the fact that the gas is ideal. So we can say PV over T is a constant. And okay, this is we are applying specifically to the right chamber, by the way. Okay, so initially the pressure is P0, volume I wrote it as L0, A0 divided by T0. And finally, the pressure is this much. The volume becomes L0 minus X times A0 as the partition went towards the right, right? So it will be L0 minus X times A0 now. And the final temperature, we just determined it to be 19 naught by 4. Now solving this, we'll get the value of X as this much. So we have determined the volumes of both chambers at equilibrium now. And now what we can do is we can use the ideal gas thing for the left chamber. So if we solve for this now, we can get the final temperature of the left chamber. And if you solve it, it comes out to be 12.94 T naught. So the A part of the question is done. We determine what's the temperature of the left chamber and the temperature of the right chamber. Okay. Now what we have to determine is the work done by the gas on the right chamber. Okay. So a small thing about work. So work, we all know it's defined a small work DW is defined as F dot DX, right? It can also be defined as P dot DV. So as we know, the, the gas exerts the pressure on the wall this way and we know the pressure the wall is moving towards the right 
right? So the dv is towards the right. So if we do the dot product, we'll get dw to be negative, which means the work done by the gas on the right chamber will be negative. The sign would be negative. So, I mean, now it's easy, right? Because we can just use the first law as we know it's the process is adiabatic. So the Q will tend to zero in this case, actually it will be equal to zero. And so we can write the work done, which we need as negative of Delta U. Now Delta U for an ideal gas, we know it's N C V Delta T and number of moles. We know it's one mole on the right chamber. The C V for the gas for a monatomic gas is three R by two and Delta T is 9 T naught by four minus T naught solving it. You'll get the work done as this much. So that was for this problem. Thanks for watching guys.